Got him. All right, guys. Pretty decent bass. Pretty decent. Oh, I foul hooked him, okay. Here we go. Hey guys, good morning. So look, we're at Headwaters, and I just caught this beautiful bass on a chopper right here. Beautiful, beautiful, man. This guy hit right by a little log sticking out of water. You barely can see the log uh, or the branch. Boom, he knocked, he knocked it out. He's pretty fat and pretty healthy too, guys. But uh, today, uh, we're going to explore Headwaters. We're going to try different spots. And uh, guys, it's supposed to be 70% chance of rain. Let's put them back in the water and uh, let's catch some more fish. There we go. Beautiful bass right here, man. Nice. Right on the edge of this grass right here. So uh, let's let him go. Beautiful, beautiful fish, man. Mm. Got one. Little guy. All right, guys, caught one on a rattle trap. Small guy. Uh, just trying something a little bit different. The water is about 11 feet deep right here, and I see a lot of fish on the depth finder. So I uh, was just trying to see what's down there, see if we can catch some here. Got another one. Ugh. Oh, God. This is a big one right here. This is a big fish, guys. Oh, I'm going to lose him. Ugh. Got him. Good gracious, boy. Check how he ate. That rattle trap, man. Tell me this guy didn't want it. He's got kind of a hump back. You can see him right there, man. It's all muscle. Look at that back of this fish right here. But I tell you what, man, that rattle trap is deadly, guys. It's another great way to catch fish here at Headwaters. Look at that, guys. Nice one. Man, he's he is short, but he is heavy. This guy feels heavy. I right, want to weigh this fish. I'm just curious. Curiosity is killing me. I'm guessing three and a half. Three and a half. Three point, three point, three point five oh guys, three point five oh. So that's right on the money. Three and a half. All right. Three and a half pound bass. He's short. This is the biggest three and a half pound bass I've ever seen. All right, let's go ahead and let him go. All right, guys, look, check this out. Nice, nice bass right here in the rattle trap. Let's go ahead and let him go. And and guys, what I'm doing, just so you know, so I'm fishing parallel to this to all these trees right here. There's a lot of trees in the water. And it's about seven foot of water right here, okay, under the boat. And it goes a little bit deeper out, it's about 10 foot. And I'm making several casts parallel to the trees. Then I'm taking a few casts out to the middle of the lake. I'm trying to search for those bass. The bass are kind of scattered. They're probably chasing, chasing shad and other, other types of fish. But anyway, guys, we're gonna call it three fish so far with this technique. So that's a pretty good, pretty good deal. So let's go ahead and uh, try another one. Mm, got another one, guys. This feels big right here. This guy feels big. Yep. Big fish. <clears throat> got him, money. Big fish, guys. Got him. Holy smokes. Woo. All right, guys. I got a bass boat behind me, but check this out, man. Look at that back to back. <laughs> Gracious, guys. I'll tell you what, man. All right. Let's see how much he weighs. All right, got him good. He is 5.07, 5.07 guys. So he's over five pounds. Here we go. Nice. 
Beautiful, beautiful bass. Let's go ahead and let him go. Got another fish, guys. Here we go. All right. All right, guys, got another fish right here. I went to a shallow running crankbait. I actually made this crankbait two days ago, and uh, it's more of a shad color with uh, a little bit of red on the bottom. I call it blood bluegill, but anyway, guys, let's, uh, let's let it go. I left the junk. Uh. Got another fish. All right. Uh. All right, another one for the shallow crank bait. Got another fish, guys. Okay, man. Woo. Man, that almost went in my hand. Another nice fish on a shallow running crankbait right here, guys. So, all right, guys, what I'm doing, I'm taking this shallow running crankbait. I'm actually hitting the wood right here, the little branches that are going off into the deep water. And what happens is this, this bait just hits that wood, it keeps on going, does not get hung. And uh, the bass, usually hitting it as soon as it hits the wood, the bass hits the lure. They, they can't stand seeing something uh, scurry away like that. So anyway, guys, let's uh, let's keep going. Here we go, guys. Good gracious, man. Woo! Woo! Ah, got him. Mm. Oh, man, I'm gonna drop my rod in the water. Woo! I'm getting too excited, man. Ah, way too excited. Ooh, man, I tell you what, I thought this guy was big. He pulled hard for his size, but not a bad, not a bad bass, guys. I mean, this guy is so beautiful, healthy. Man, that thing's healthy. Now I hit, I caught this fish off a log. I hit the lure, boom, 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 boom. Hit a log, came off the log, boom. He just knocked it. Beautiful bass, though. I mean, that thing is beautiful. All right, let's let him go. Oh man. Oh my goodness, guys. He's not hooked good at all. Man, just check that out. Good gracious. Check it out, guys. Another one. I mean, that's, I just caught another fish in the same spot. These guys are just healthy, buddy. Mm. This is definitely the right lure today.
Okay, so we caught several bass today. And one lure that caught most of the fish was a rattle trap right here. Now we caught some on a chopper and also a shallow running crankbait. In my setup, I had a 17 pound Trilene XT, this guy right here. I had a 7.3 ratio bait caster, a seven foot fast action pole. Guys, that's all you need. Come out here to Headwaters, grab some lures, go have fun, enjoy it. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something and I'll catch you on the next one. That's a hefty shell cracker. Gracious.